Assume that women's heights are normally distributed with the mean given by mu equal to 64.3 inches and a standard deviation given by sigma equal to 3.2 inches. Complete parts A and B. A. If one woman is randomly selected, find the probability that her height is between 64.1 inches and 65.1 inches. Let's begin by organizing the information given to us in the problem and identify with the correct symbols each of the pieces of information that are given. So we have the mean equal to 64.3, the standard deviation equal to 3.2, and then in part B we have a sample size of 11. But in part A, we're only working with one individual data value from the population. In order to find these probabilities, we will calculate a z-score. In the A part, the z calculation will just be x minus mu over sigma, since we're only talking about one individual data value from the population. We'll have to do this twice because we're finding the probability that one woman would be between 64.1 inches and 65.1 inches. So we'll begin by finding the z-score associated with 64.1. So using this formula, x minus mu over sigma, we get a z-score of minus 0 0.0625. Now we'll do that again using 65.1 inches. Again, x minus mu over sigma gives us 0 0.25. We can solve this problem using StatCrunch, so we'll click Question Help and then StatCrunch. Once we're in StatCrunch, we'll click Stat, Calculators, Normal. We want to find an area between a couple of given values, so we'll click Between. We're going to use z-scores, so we'll leave the mean at 0 and the standard deviation at 1. Now we will enter the z-scores that we found, minus 0 0.0625 and 0 0.25, and then click Compute. And we find that area to be 0 0.1236 when we round to four decimal places. So the probability that one randomly selected data value from the population would be between 64.1 and 65.1 is 0 0.1236. In the B part, we are asked to find the probability associated with a group of 11. So 11 women will be randomly selected, and then we are to find the probability that the sample mean for that sample would be between 64.1 and 65.1. When we calculate z-scores associated with the sample mean, we have to make sure that we use the correct standard deviation. In the denominator, the standard deviation will be the standard deviation for the sampling distribution, or in other words, the standard error of the means. And we find that by dividing the standard deviation of the population by the square root of the sample size. So performing these calculations, We'll begin with 64.1 minus the mean 64.3 divided by the standard deviation 3.2 divided by the square root of the sample size. And we get a z-score of minus 0.2073. Doing this again for a sample mean of 65.1, we wind up with a z-score of 0 0.8292. So now, returning to the normal distribution calculator in StatCrunch, we'll change these limits to minus 0.2073 and 0 0.8292. Hit Compute. And this gives us a probability of 0.3786 when we round to four decimal places. So the probability that the sample mean would be between 64.1 and 65.1 for a sample size of 11 would be 0 0.3786. Note that this is quite a bit larger than the probability that an individual data value would be between those same two values.